y'all and welcome to another day of vlogmas today we are going to be ranking all of my juvia's place palettes i have a lot i counted i have 20 juvia's place palettes and i don't think i've ever ranked my juvia's place stuff before so that's what we're gonna do today i'm gonna take you through all of my palettes which one do I like the most? Like what are the top top out of the 20 that I have? I love doing ranking videos. Y'all seem to really like watching ranking videos. Now I will say that none of these palettes are bad. I just rank them according to my preference and some of these I do feel like are better than others and I'll explain as we go along the way my thought process but if you are new here hey my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy here at my channel we do not try to be perfect we just want to have a good time with our makeup whatever that means shimmer glitter ranking we are here for it so if that sounds good to you I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today we are right now in vlogmas 35 days of Heather I'm uploading every day I started the Sunday before Thanksgiving and I'm gonna be uploading all along the way until Christmas so I do hope that you'll subscribe if you're looking for some fun makeup content every day right now but I'm very excited to rank these like I said we do have 20 palettes to rank so let's jump into it most all of these palettes I do have dedicated videos to or I have them in get ready with me's I have an entire Juvia's place playlist that I will link down below so you can check it out just in case you see me talking about any of these palettes and you want like tutorials or close-up swatches anything like that make sure you check out my playlist the palettes just might have videos I think most of them do but at number 20, I put the Nubian Glow Palette. So this palette is coming in a little bit lower, not because it's not good quality, it's great quality. I do have a video with this one, but the color story is not something that I personally reach for a ton. It's like a monochromatic gold yellow palette. We do have two really pretty yellowy orange type of shades this right here is a pressed glitter sometimes juvia's place does put pressed glitters in their palettes this shimmer right here is a really pretty like duochrome i'm kind of trying to move the palette around so you can see the shifts but it's like a let me see how do i even describe this it's like a gold yellow with different types of like shimmer almost like green pink shimmer it's very light but yeah that's why this palette's coming in just a little bit lower because this color story i don't really reach for okay number 19 goes to the nubian royal so this was the nubian glow this is the nubian royal this is a very pretty palette i do like that you have a very light shade and then two mid-tone shades i do wish that maybe this purple was just a bit deeper but again we do have that pressed glitter this one does kind of have a gel like base so it is like it will stick to the eye pretty well I'm gonna just go ahead and say look at the website if you're curious if any of these are like eye safe or pigments or anything like that because I know glitters are usually not eye safe so check Juvia's site on that but I have used this on my eyes and it was very pretty the metallics in here also very very pretty this one is super duper shimmery and it kind of shifts from a lighter purple to a darker purple depending on like how you're moving and the light so it's very pretty the quality of both of these are really nice they're just not ones that i reach for a ton so that's why they're coming in a little bit lower the next one I have is the Violets by Juvia's Place. I should quit saying from Juvia's Place since all of these are Juvia's, but this is such a beautiful purple palette. These two shades right here are very cool toned purples that I really like. Both of these mattes blend like a dream and then we have four metallic shades. I like that the metallic shades go very light with these two and then we have two mid-tones. So I do feel like you get like a very 
good monochromatic range in the violets. It's very pretty. There are just some that are going to be higher up that I like absolutely love, love, love. I just, again, with ranking, it's kind of just all about preference. Quality in this one is really great. I just love some of the other ones more. Next up, I have the Honey Quad. So these quads are new this year. I haven't bought a lot of Juvia's eyeshadows this year, but these quads were so good. I do have a video with multiple looks and swatches on the quads, and I love a good quad. I mean, I love big palettes, I love mini palettes, but I do feel like the creation of colors for the Juvia's quads are really, really nice. So this one is Honey, the Rebel Quads Honey, and I see Honey here. The tones are beautiful. We have three mattes and one gold shimmer. I think this quality is so nice. Again, it's just not a color story that I reach for as much as some of the others. Next up, I have Juvia's Place and Yami La Mariposa palette. So this was a collab palette, and this one also really pretty. I think this launched at the beginning of the year. This is a very colorful palette, so I feel like you can do a lot of different things with this one. Again, we do have that pressed glitter that is a bronze with kind of a pink purpley glitter to it as well. We have a very warm, almost orangey brown, this beautiful coral. So we have a pressed glitter, two metallics, and three mattes. I do prefer to go a little bit deeper in my palettes. So although I can create beautiful looks with this palette, I do find myself reaching for another palette to pair with it. This shade right here, I do think is very, very beautiful. This pink, it's called Barbie Brat. Let me swatch. Let me swatch it here for you like look how beautiful that is it's a very very shiny which I like a lot it has a lot of shimmer to it that's pretty it's like this beautiful it, it is it's a Barbie pink and I like it next I have another of the quads this is the rebel grays I love a gray quad. I think this palette can be perfect to pair with other palettes there are let's see one matte, one that's more like a very, very, very gently shimmery shadow. Like this is not a high intensity metallic like these two are. These two are high metallics. So this is a very interesting color story. I'm very happy to have this in my collection because when I want to do something kind of silvery and smoky, I like having this quad as an option. It's just it's very interesting the way it goes from deep to light and you have these kind of three different finishes in here. I really like this one. Okay, next up I have the Vanessa and Juvia's Place palette. This one again, very neutral but very glam I feel like. So you can stick neutral with these colors but I don't know this isn't very neutral actually now that I look at it I don't know why it comes across very neutral to me though you do have like I said you have the three more neutrally colors this shade up here is definitely a duochrome it's like a pink to gold rose gold shift so you can create a neutral look with these three shades but then depending on how you shift you're gonna get maybe a little bit of like pinky mauve tones and then there's also this really pretty orange and this pretty like berry type of shade with this shade right here that's very sparkly like very sparkly very pretty the mattes are very smooth this is just a really nice six pan again that's one of their other collaboration palettes I love that Juvia's Place does collaboration palettes I love look isn't that really pretty just just a really 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 pretty shadows okay next up I have the sweet pinks if you're looking for pink shadows if you want to add a pink monochrome palette to your life look at this one this one is so pretty and it's such bright pink shades like this is a neon pink this is a pretty like pastel -y pink and then you have this more magenta shade that's just so beautiful 
And then you have three metallics. So I like that there's an even mix of mattes and metallics in here. I love having this for pink shadows. Like, let me just, let me give you a couple of swatches because I love swatching things. <laughs> I just love the range. Look at the range. If you're looking for a monochromatic palette, these from Juvia's Place are so pretty. This is more of a true metallic whereas these are more of a shimmer metallic, which I think is really fun. So if you're looking for something with sparkle, I mean, this palette is overall pretty mid-tone. It doesn't go super dark or super light, you know, like this is the lightest shimmer, this is the lightest matte, but I still think it's just fun. I love reaching for this for like a pink look. If you want a Barbie pink look, this is a great palette. Okay, it gets harder and harder to rank these as we go up. But next I have the mauves. I've talked about how much I like this palette before. You have three beautiful mattes. This is a matte shade that has a little bit of sparkle to it. If you know those shades, I really like it. These create beautiful looks. This shade right here is pressed a bit hard in the pan, but it's one of those iridescent pink blue shades that's so beautiful. This beautiful shade right here that's a little more, this one is more toned down than this one but overall still beautiful. You can create really, really pretty mauve looks. Like just look at those swatches, so pretty. I mean, these six pan palettes from Juvia's Place, you really can't go wrong with. Like they really, really have some nice formulas. And so along with that, I'm gonna rank the Berries palette. This palette is beautiful. I love that we have four matte shades and I love that we have mid-tone shades and very, very light, I mean very, very dark shades. There is no very light shade. So usually when I use this palette, I just use whatever highlight I use on my face for my inner corner and I think it works out really nice. The two metallics in here are very beautiful. I love these kind of wine cranberry shades. I think they're just so beautiful again with these six pan palettes you just have a nice monochromatic color story with high quality shadows okay the last of my six pans i think is the chocolates this is an amazing neutral color story from light to very dark i like that we have this brown over here whoops that I feel like is a little more cool toned, whereas this one is a little more warm tone. So even though you have these two very dark shades, they're different. <laughs> they're different. You also have this very warm brown with this almost like, well for me, it's like a skin tone shade with two beautiful metallics. Just very effortless color story to me. You know, you can go in with this shade, blend it out with this one, deepen it up with one of these. Like, it's a very easy, effortless palette that I feel like I can reach for and I can create this beautiful chocolate smoky eye and look just, just like I spent a lot of time on it when everything is narrowed down and easy for me in here. Okay, next I have the Rebel Mints Quad. This is a beautiful mint palette. To me, this is mint. You have a more green mint and you have a more blue mint. You have shimmers that go with it. You can create a beautiful mint look. Of course, mint is a light color in nature, so it doesn't bother me that there's not a lot of variety. There are four mint shades in here, two different tones of mint, and I love it. I think it's so beautiful. Let me give you just a couple of swatches. Again, I have videos with this stuff, so I don't wanna bore y'all with too many swatches, but just look at the pigmentation. It's so beautiful. I love to use a lighter color eye base under these to really make the shades pop. I think if you're looking for some mint shadows, this is the one I recommend for sure. Okay, the Army Quad, so beautiful. Green is my favorite color and these shadows are stunning. We have a very dark Army Green. We have a mid-tone green. We have two beautiful metallics. This one with a little bit more of like a deep dark base you can see. And then this one a little bit of a brighter green, like almost crayon green but in metallic form these are so beautiful the quality in these quads i know i keep saying that but the quality that juvia's place put in these 
quads are so nice. I just love the Juvia's Place formula. Very pigmented, very beautiful. Okay, I did not say in the beginning, and I wanted to kind of let y'all know that Juvia's Place seems to do a lot of limited edition stuff, and then sometimes they'll bring it back, sometimes they won't. Sometimes it'll be gone and then it'll pop up on the website or Ulta or something. So I did not think about is it limited edition or not when I did these rankings. I just laid out all my palettes and I ranked them how I felt like I loved them. Like best at the top and then I kind of ranked everything else where I felt like it fell in between. So if some of these things are limited edition and you can't get your hands on them anymore, I am sorry. I just wanted to rank them like to my most favorite so if I can find links for these palettes I will definitely link them down below if I can't find links I'm very sorry but with Juvia's Place sometimes it seems like you never know like they'll say something's limited edition and then it'll pop back up so I decided just to rank them how I wanted to rank them so I'm sorry I didn't clarify that earlier Okay, I think we're at number seven. It goes to the Saharan palette. I really like this palette. This is neutrals with a twist. Would you say this is neutral? I don't know, but when I look at it, I'm like, oh yeah, that's neutrals with a twist. First of all, this beautiful black shade. Like you saw, look, 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 look how opaque that black is. And then we have these well, really, we just have one neutral kind of tan shade, don't we? And then we have this beautiful orange, oh, so pretty, and then this coral. So I guess maybe this isn't neutrally. Look at those matte shades. So stunning. This is a mostly shimmer palette, which I'm good with. I love the shimmer. I love the sparkle. So in this palette, you only have four mattes, which is again fine with me and then we do have a good bit of neutral shimmers neutral 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 yellow more red what well, yellow yellow gold and just like whoops i meant to go for this one look at how pretty that is just really beautiful shimmers if mattes are your thing this is not going to be the palette for you because it is mostly shimmer metallics but look at those look at how they catch the light so beautiful <laughs> i really like this one to me this is an easy color story to work with i feel like it's inspiring while also being kind of effortless like this all in the crease deepen it up with a little bit of black pop this all over the lid this in the inner corner, boom, you're out the door, you're good to go. You can do some contrasty things if you stick with this quad right here. I just think it's really pretty. Like the formulas are pretty, the shadows are pretty, the color story is just pretty. All right, next I have my Wahala palette. This, I think, is one of the first large palettes that Juvia's Place did. And I love this palette. I actually did a video doing seven looks with this one palette because I felt so inspired by it. It does have three pressed glitters, which are okay. I mean, I would rather it didn't, but they don't bother me that much. This shade of green right here is very, very reflective. And they have some very shifty shades in here. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. Like depending on how you turn in the light, you get like a gold to a green. Then this shade up here, let me show you. This one is like a purple to blue shift. So you have that duochrome goodness in here. I don't even know how much I can show, but if you want if you want to see all the shifts, definitely watch my seven looks video. The mattes in here are so nice and pigmented. I love that we have these kind of cool tones with these more fiery colors. It's just, it's a very interesting color story. They paired colors together that you wouldn't expect to go together. I really like this hot pink. This is a really nice shadow. This shadow right here also, like everything about it is very pretty. And if you want a look that's a very toned down, you can stick with these shades right here. Or you can really go all in with color and I like that a lot about this palette. 
The formulas in here are just very nice and I like I liked at the time that Julia's Place stepped out of the box and kind of went with a larger palette. I thought that was really fun and exciting for them and I still really love this one. And then came the Wahala 2. I think we are in the top five now. Top five, Wahala 2 was so fun and different. We got these smaller square palette, I mean square pans. We still have some pressed glitters, four of them I believe. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Very beautiful shadows though, but what, what puts this palette way up there for me is this shade right here, Juvia's Place Sprung in a Multi-Chrome. I'm gonna try to give you a big swatch so you can see. This goes from like a pink to a gold to a green with a black base. Again, you'll have to you'll have to watch my videos and playlists if you want to see all the shifts on that shade. But this is a multi-chrome. This shade right here shifts to a green. It was very unexpected when I got the palette. It was super exciting. I love that we have this mix of blues. I like the variety because I feel like it's very easy to blend. Whether you want to go from lightest to darkest, darkest to lightest, you have a good range of blues here. I like the addition of these whites and silvers. I feel like that's very special to this palette. Again, if you want to create a more neutral look, you can stick to these shades kind of right in here, or you can go very, very colorful with the hot pink, the kind of neon orange, and if you want, you can throw on some glitter. Like, it's just a very fun, fun palette. I was trying to see, yes, there are glitters, eyeshadows, and pressed pigments in here. This color story I just think is so fun and beautiful and it's that same really good, great Juvia's Place quality that I expect. Okay, the top four just got harder and harder. I would say the top four are the ones that I kind of moved around and played with where I wanted to rank them the most. And this could change tomorrow based on preference, but listen, this is where I've decided to rank them. And at number four, I have the Magic Mini. So, this color story. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, again, we're having mostly metallic shimmers. How many mattes do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six mattes. I have a little bit of this shade on right here, Nana. This is like an orange brown. It pulls very, very warm on the eyes. I have a little bit of this underneath my brow bone. I have this shade right here on my lower lash line. This is the shade you're seeing on the inner part of my lid. Just a very beautiful palette. I love that the top two rows we get are more warm tones and I love that the bottom two rows are cool tones. I just think that's really fun and if you don't know what to do looking at this palette, you can stick with these two rows for a look and you can stick with these two rows for a look. Of course, it's fun to mix and match but I feel like it's laid out in a way that does make it very easy. I like that we have these two matte blues. I like that we have this kind of matte red type of color, strawberry color. And then we have this lighter shade to where if you wanted to lighten up these deeper colors, you could just mix in a little of that cream color to lighten them up. I, I like this palette. I like the shimmer shades. I like the mattes. Everything about it I really like. I like the sleek packaging. The more I talk about it, the more I want to move it up in the rankings, but the other ones I'm going to talk about I love just as much. Okay, number three goes to the Tribe. This palette, what can I say about this palette that you can't see for yourself? This green color story is so interesting. I'm wearing this shade right here, mostly in my crease. This is a neutral with an olive undertone that I love. This is such a unique brown shade. You're probably looking at it thinking, Heather, it's just a mid-tone brown. No, it has this green undertone to it that is so unique to my collection. 
I don't have a shade like it. I don't have any other shade like it. It's so beautiful and neutral while being olive. It's just fascinating. So I do have on this shade today. And then I have on, let me see, this shade on my inner corner for a matte kind of lime color. So we have this that's very green undertone. We have these teals that have a green undertone. This is a duo chrome shade. You can see it's a white to green shift. We have this kind of yellow lime green shade, this true green, and then this pop of orange and this pop of like, I don't even know what to call that shade. Let me give you some swatches of the shimmers though. Like first up, do you see how this is a gold that kind of has a little bit of lime undertone? And this is definitely a white to lime shift. And the pairing of these orange shades is so unique. It's so unique. The color story is so amazing. The quality is so amazing. This is one of the palettes that was around forever and then it went like half off at Ulta and then Juvia's Place took it off their site and then it popped back up on the site and it popped back up at Ulta and it like I don't know if it's officially discontinued or if it's just like gonna be here and back again or what this could also be the number one this could also be the number one palette the top three especially were the hardest for me this could be number one. Should I have put this at number one? Okay, I have to get through this video. This is a beautiful palette. I'm putting it at three, but it could be number one. Okay, <laughs> it gets harder and harder as we go, but number two goes to the Melissa palette. This is a quad. This quality is mind blowing. There is a pressed glitter in here. I don't really care about that. I'm talking about these three shadows. This pressed glitter is good, but I'm talking about the shadows. Phenomenal quality. Phenomenal. This is so pigmented and blendable. I cannot stress to you enough the quality in here. This deep color right here has this purple undertone that is so interesting. The metallic shimmer in here, it has such pigment in the base to it. It's just, it's easy to create a beautiful smoky berry eye. I feel like berries are so in this year, and not even berries, but like mauves and berries and those tones. You know, I think about like ColourPop had a few palettes with this color story. Natasha Denona had the midi retro palette like I just feel like a lot of palettes have come up with these color story these are some of the top eyeshadow formulas this is beautiful if I'm wanting to get that color story this is such a good quad I cannot express to you enough how phenomenal like the quality is on these shadows I feel like this is some of Juvia's Place's best work and the number one the number one the number one this palette, y'all, I don't know if this is available anymore, and I'm so sorry if you can't get your hands on it, but I let y'all know when I bought this how amazing the Disco Party Fumi and Juvia's Place palette is. Again, two pressed glitters, fun. This is the best matte blue ever. It's so amazing. I have this matte blue blended out here to deepen out the outer corner and a little bit under the lower lash line. I have this shade right here all kind of like center of my lid. This is like the mass, the best matte blue of life. I'm getting excited talking about it. This little palette is so cute. The pressed glitters are cute. Like look, they have kind of a cream base to them. Do you see how opaque that is? Like sometimes with pressed glitters, they're kind of like flimsy and you get like this clear gel and there's no like glitter there look at those two glitters like that is glitter like that is glitter so I actually like the glitters in here and th the matte what can I say it's like the best matte navy it's so amazing is it the best matte navy in my collection I don't know I've never like thought to compare it but this is one of my favorites the metallic is beautiful, and the fact that two Juvia's Place quads, quads are making it to the top one and two spot for me, that feels crazy. Oh, I still have glitter on my hands. I need to wipe that off before I get it 
all over my face, but can y'all believe it? Can y'all believe it? Can y'all believe this is the number one? It's that amazing. All right, y'all. Thank you times a million for watching today. I really hope that you're enjoying Vlogmas. I'm pretty sure I already told you what all is on my eyes, but let me tell you what's on the rest of my face. For um, bronzer, I'm wearing my Lunar Beauty Moon, no, Outer Dimension face palette. That's what I have on for bronzers. I am wearing my Melt blush palette. Oh, Monarca blush palette. So I'm wearing this shade and this shade mixed. Yes, this very light and this very deep. And then I have this kind of on as a blush topper highlight. For lips, I have on my Alien Cosmetics Satin Liquid Lipsticks. I mix Angela and Diana. I mix these two shades for this kind of custom lip. I really love this formula. And then for lip gloss, I'm wearing my Juvia's Place Yummy Yummy Gloss on top. It's like an iridescent pearl to pink shifty gloss. So I thought it would be really pretty with this lip. But that is what I have on the rest of my face. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to know, do you have any Juvia's Place palettes? What is your number one favorite palette from the brand? Or if you don't have any Juvia's Place palettes, are you interested in any of these I talk about? Are there any that I don't have that you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you don't have this palette? Definitely let me know. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a super awesome day. And I will see you tomorrow in another video for Vlogmas. Bye.